Hello, my creative cronies, and welcome to another episode of Creativity Chomps with Mrs. Gregory. In these sessions, we will talk a little about art history and a little about its application. I am Mrs. Gregory, your art teacher to the stars, and I am so happy to be here with you all today. Let's go ahead and get started talking about our artist, M.C. Escher. M.C. Escher is easily one of the most recognizable artists of the 20th century. His puzzle-like images and tessellations have fascinated viewers for decades. M.C. Escher was born in 1898 in the Netherlands. His first footsteps into what would later be his passion was architecture school. He decided, though, that architecture was not for him and he wanted to do graphic design instead. He traveled a lot. Italy mostly, and created his artworks while being inspired by these locations. When he returned home, his drawings and sketchings were turned into lithographs, engravings, and woodcuts. His work features mathematical and art-related objects and operations, including the study of infinity, reflection, symmetry, and perspective. His pieces captivate the audience with their complexity. Many were called near impossible drawings, such as ascending and descending, and his pieces called metamorphosis, air and water, and reptiles all boggle the mind. These types of optical illusion artworks had never been seen before. Escher was prolific, creating 448 lithographs and over 2,000 drawings in his lifetime. A fun fact, Like many amazing artists before him, including Michelangelo, da Vinci, Albrecht Dürer, and Hans Holbein, M.C. Escher was left-handed. He died in 1972, again, as I said of some other artists before, not fully appreciated amongst the art community. It wasn't until the late 20th century that he was recognized for his incredible achievements in the art world.